Hey guys, uh, what's going on? This is Paul here, back for another vlog. Um, oh man, we're going blurry already. It's raining right now and uh, very heavily actually. I'm just by the the docks, the docks, the, the river. Oh my gosh, that blur. And uh, I thought it was time for another vlog. So I'll do one now um, as various people walk past and look at me like I'm some sort of weirdo. From talking to myself. I can just pretend I'm on FaceTime to someone, can't I? We'll do that. Um, but we're back today for another vlog and uh, I woke up this morning so late, like so so late and uh, one of the things that really annoyed me was I was just getting in like a really really bad mood automatically and uh, I was trying to examine like a, a number of things I do to change my states like you go, you go for a nap and you wake up a completely different person or you would, you know, some people take drugs, like some people go and, you know, smoke a joint or they have a, a beer and that would change their mood. But I'm looking for ways in my life which I can transform that. So how I can go from this like depressive, passive state to a more sort of empowering state. And uh, for me, the number one thing for that has always been like going running or going to the gym or going for a walk. So I've made it like part of my habit now, or part of my morning routine now, to like get up in the morning and go for a run, you know, or go for a walk, even if it is only five or ten minutes, because it gets me out of that sort of depressive state. But I was thinking a lot recently because there's been a lot of riding going on where I live, and um, with that there obviously is a lot of people <laughs> out there uh, throwing various objects at police. And I'm just thinking like, for these people, the thrill of going out and doing that is sort of their mood changer, you know, like getting a chase off the cops or, you know, that that sort of adrenaline that that gives you completely changes your mood. Like for me, the things that I use, obviously running, gym, meditation, sometimes a nap, but I feel like I feel like when I take a nap, I sometimes wake up a different person. So uh, I tend not to rely on that one too much because it's uh, not very consistent. So. I just wanted to do this as I was walking home from the gym. I'll probably continue this when I get home. It's very wet right now, actually. As you can see, I am by the docks. So I'm by the docks right now, and uh, my idea for this is like I kind of want to. I want to buy a GoPro. I want to see if I can get a GoPro and go running and basically just use that footage to talk over. Because, but my channel was always about me, and uh, I sort of want to do a sort of reformat of that. So there's obviously going to be games going up still. But I want to probably put up like one or two, three maybe vlogs a week and just go from there. But one of the things I really wanted to do was um, I really wanted to get a GoPro and basically just go on runs for like a mile or two and commentate over that when I get home. But I don't know the, I don't know the logistics, not logistics, I don't know like, am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to film in public places and put it up? I'm not sure. It's probably going to be a while, but I'll meet you guys back at my house. Uh where I'll do the rest of this, so yeah, and uh, of course, sorry for the messy hair, <laughs> it's wet, it's wet, cut me some slack, um, I'll see you guys when I get back. Oh, right, we're back, hi, um, back in my cave, so to speak, I have Sunset Overdrive here, which I still haven't opened, it's just been so hectic today, um, one thing I do need to do is update my little log here, I have been trying to track everything I've been doing for the past uh, week. I, I showed you guys it last week. Um, so I guess it's time for an update. So <laughs> here it is here. Don't laugh, don't laugh. Um, here it is here. You know, so we have a lot of axes. The only thing I missed was... Oh, so, so I dropped my pen. Nice one, Paul. Nice one. The only thing I missed was this one. Which, can you see that? Which was programming. And that was just because I... It was like 3 a.m. And I was falling asleep as I was typing. And I got like 20 minutes done, but I was like, I didn't hit 30 minutes, so I'm not going to give myself the X. So, meditation, reading, exercise have all been 100%. So I'm going to mark that one off because I just got back from the gym. Um, but what I do is, it's uh, exercise is running three days a week, and then weights three days a week, and then uh, uh, Sundays is stretching. But, and I have a little morning routine, I showed you guys that before, which I'm still doing, um, which has been pretty consistent, but I'm sort of, uh, I'm sort of trying to 
get my life in order. And like, I woke up, as I was going back to the first thing, I woke up this morning and I just got really depressed because immediately when I wake up, I go to YouTube and I check my analytics. Analytics are basically where you see the views you got for the previous days. And I noticed one, some of my views went down for the past few days and my, my subs were, I was being on sub from. And it completely just put me in a really, really bad state, like mental state, you know, depressive. Oh, my life is over. And then what I did was I, I just went and started reading a book for 20 minutes. And then I went and did my meditation. No, not like that. Uh, I just sit cross-legged. And uh, I don't know, it sort of disappeared. Like when, when I go when I go and exercise, it's for me, like I realized that there is more to life than these numbers, you know, like I, I don't know of... Of course, currently they're my only source of income, but at the same time, that you know, I, I don't really have that financial pressure, as I've said before. So why am I getting stressed out about it? You, the only thing that matters, like it was a really nice quote for me uh, that I live by, by Elliot Hulse, and he says that uh, it's not about it's not about uh, what is it? Not about who you who you are. It's about who you're becoming. Or it's not about what you're doing. It's who you're becoming. So regardless of what happens, as long as I am putting the effort in and sort of molding my sort of character in that way then that's okay you know even if the results don't show it I know that I'm doing this and creating those habits putting all the effort that I can into my channel there's nothing more I can do you know so as long as I'm doing everything in my power I don't really feel that bad about it and uh, as I said I need to realize that there's more to life than YouTube, and I, I've been saying that the past couple of days. You know, that's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm thinking too much. No, I like in ten years from now, will this matter? Well, I look back and laugh at you know this 21 year old kid talking to a camera and worrying about the future. I don't know. Nobody knows, but the only thing that I know is that worrying about something I can't control is useless and a waste of my own sort of time and sort of mental energy, and it's not good. So. So, uh, sort of as long as I can do everything I, I'm uh, yeah as long as I can do all that I can I sort of feel content in that way and I need to stop getting stressed out about it too much because uh, again it's not about uh, it's not about what you get it's about who you're becoming I love that quote I think Bruce Lee had a similar quote that was all knowledge is self knowledge which basically means everything that you're doing is ultimately going back to yourself like to understand yourself more you know building upon yourself putting yourself in positions that you weren't in before so sort of all this pressure, not pressure, but all of the things that's happened, happening to me sort of leads me back to the question of, you know, who am I? And just how I deal with it is very interesting. I know I speak very, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like I speak in riddles sometimes because I'm not very transparent in what I'm saying, but I just like doing these sort of vlogs to speak, and that's that. So, it is Halloween. I am going out tonight with my friends. There may be a lack of a video tonight because I'm putting this up where the Smash 3DS is going to go and I don't know if I can get the FIFA done so we'll see but let me know what you guys think um I want to do a I want to do a vlog series where I just talk you know where I talk like I, I read a lot and I have a lot of thoughts in my mind and the best thing about this YouTube is I think like reading is not enough you know because I, I interpret things differently than other people so I think putting like a discussion medium out there or like have a book club to discuss things and sort of become more knowledgeable. And that's what I kind of want to do, you know. And uh, of course, there's as I said before, there'll still be games. I love games. It's just that I feel like I just want this channel to be about me and you rather than a game, you know. Just a discussion between producer and subscriber rather than a discussion between you know, subscriber in a game, and I realized that not sort of playing all the popular games will vastly reduce my chances of sort of growing, but at the same time, I'd rather just be, you know, as true to myself as I can, and we'll see what happens, I mean, I don't know, man, I think, I think the, the, the scary part for me is just, I feel like this YouTube thing is sinking through my hands, you know, I've built it up for six years now, so I'm sort of like, okay, I want to go this direction now, and all that is sort of sinking through my hands, but at the same time, I feel like I'm going to be, you know, if I kept my channel how it was, posting, you know, uh, things that I didn't enjoy, then I sort of feel as if 
that I would just be in a constant negative mood all the time. You know, like, you know, like, oh, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do this? And, and ultimately, I just think life's too short for that, to just put yourself in that state. And I just want to explore real life now, because I feel like I've spent, spent like six years on the internet, and not much has came from it. So, hopefully that uh, clears a few things up. Anyway, if you have any comments, let me know. Um, I have some set of overdrive here, and I think I'm going to be posting some of it. I'm not, sh I, I'm not sure if it will go off well, but again, I'm just going to post what I enjoy. Because ultimately, I think that's the right decision. Um, and that makes me in a better sort of mood state, as I said before. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to sort of rearrange my life so I'm in the happiest sort of mood possible all the time. Because when you, <laughs> when you get in that sort of spiral or that whirlpool of depression and negativity, it's just down and down and down. And I just don't want to go there. I just don't want to go there again. I've just spent way too much worrying about things that really have no impact on my life. So that's that. Um, happy Halloween. Hopefully enjoy it. If you're going out to party, drink responsibly. And behave responsibly, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.